Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas Day and it looks like the crowd at the church below has gone back home. Here's my mini quad copter, the Super X 125mm micro quad. And I have the battery hooked up to it, the power on the transmitter. It's a low power 1.2 GHz video transmitter. And right now it's capturing or rather it's transmitting live footage of my room. Alright, here I am at the leaf landing with my pet shark goggles. This is some distance away from the transmitting source that you saw just now. Now let's take a look at the live footage in the pet shark goggles. But first I have to turn off the camera refresh. Alright, let's take a look at the live footage with the Yagi antenna. Yeah, the video is kind of snowy. It's the transmission. It's not line of sight. It's blocked by several walls. As I'm standing right beside the leaf landing. Yeah, this is it. Okay, now I'm still at the same spot. Uh, this time I have the LNA low noise amplifier on my fat shark goggles and the same Yagi. Now let's take a look at the live footage with the amplifier. This is how the live transmission looks like with the LNA. A lot better. It's less known as compared to just now. Some horizontal white noise, probably due to the noise of the LNA itself. But yeah, the image is definitely much better than before. Now that was a very quick test of the LNA for my 1.2 GHz. And the LNA is basically from mini circuits. It's the PSA4-5043 and this is how it looks like. It shows you the pins out for the 5043. Four pins, two grounds, one RF out and one RF in. The RF out is besides the fatter leg of the two grounds. And on the data sheet, you will find the schematics on how to use it. You could use FR4 PCB and feed it with 5 volts. I'm using SMD components which are really tiny and hard to solder. But I think if you use standard size components, they will be too large. So, a couple of capacitors, one way diode, and a resistor here. And you have your RF in. This is where your antenna, receiving antenna, is. And this gets connected to your receiver. Pretty simple and easy to build. One. To fit in the 5 volts, that's easy. You don't need the voltage regulator. Basically, if you look at the pinout of the receiver module, here's one I built for the 5.8 GHz boss cam version. So the crossover from the ground to the third pin, and there's a crossover from 5 volts to the first pin. So just use pin 1 from the bottom and pin 3 the red and the negative you can basically tap the 5 volts that you need for your LNA 